Let's turn now to Chris Cordero to talk more about what to expect when earnings season kicks off next week. He is chief investment officer at Regent Atlantic. Good to see you again, Chris. Welcome back. Here. Thanks. And, you know, Bob mentioned guidance. You think that that basically the street is a little bit too pessimistic at this point. Yeah, you know, the consensus are, are slightly negative, but I think um, what's happening here is uh, all the corporations are guiding downward. And, and so they like to do that to manage expectations, especially after the second quarter. And I think that's probably overdone. So I think at the end of the day, when we get done with earnings season, I think we'll probably see a slight increase. It won't be terrific, but I think it'll be better than it's expected. But there are companies that you are worried about that you call the detractors, some high profile companies out there in a pretty broad spectrum of, uh, of uh, industries here. Yeah, so, um, so obviously big, a big detractor is going to be Boeing uh, with the 737 right. issues and problems it have. I also think that Apple is potentially de a detractor. You know, it's hurt by the trade war. The other, the other problem, too, is you're coming through the uh, Apple iPhone cycle, and so sales are probably going to be declining. So th those, are, those are where I see troubled spots. Why GM? Uh, GM, I think, also, also, also on the trade side. And the other part, too, is um, realize that when the, the dollar is strengthened um, fairly dramatically, and when the dollar strengthens, any corporations that have earnings from overseas getting converted back to dollars are going are gonna to be weaker. All right. So you also gave us a, a couple sectors that are going to be leaders, financials and healthcare. Why? Sure. So financials, which is one that, that people might miss because we've been talking so much about a rate cut. It's right. not here yet. So the banks are still enjoying that higher federal funds rate um, on their deposits. So that's going to translate into better business for them. Also, they have a lot of revenue that is based on asset-based pricing. When the market's up, those fees are up. And so that, they should also enjoy that this quarter. I find it interesting that you feel that expectations have been too low for this coming earnings season when we, we sit here at all-time highs right, right. now. <laughs> well, well that, that, that's what we're sitting here at all-time highs, but I, think, but I think also once you once you, if there's herd mentality, once you have corporations start guiding lower, then everybody jumps on board. Right. Um, and so that's what I think's happened this quarter is everybody's jumping on board because you're always a hero if you guide lower and come, back, come out on top. Very quickly, a headwind, the price of oil down 13, almost 14%. Sure, so that, that really hurts the energy sector. You know, the price of, the price of oil de declining really hurts the energy sector, and that's going to that's gonna hurt the overall S&P. Chris, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Chris Cordero joining us tonight with Regent Atlantic.